I want to take a minute here to present oh, Titus oh, with our oh. first Life Achievement Sleaze Award. Oh, thank you. Thank the you. first one going to the infamous Titus thank Moody. You. Ask for it by name, ask thank for you. it by color. We sleaze to please, and here he is, the man, you could say the man who almost started it all, Titus Moody. <laughs> Tonight on the John Stewart Show, Robert Sean Leonard, star of the hit film Muriel's Wedding, Rachel Griffith. Johnny Legend gives us his take on the Oscars and musical guest, Sammy. The Germans are coming! Dun, 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 dun. Watch yourself. I mean, it's no Porky Six, but what are you gonna do? Folks, we've had my next guest on several times as a film expert, but he's also a noted actor himself, starring in films like Bride of the Reanimator and the upcoming Children of the Corn 3. There's also his famous masculine freak-out scene in Pot, Parents, and Police. Who can forget this memorable scene? Hey, hey, hey. I'm free! I'm flying free! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here to report on the Oscars for us, the fabulous Johnny Legend! Just blew in from the Oscars and boy, Did you just see the Oscars? Boy, my lips tired, yeah. Oh, my goodness. How was the show tonight? Well, I don't know. It just seemed like the usual senseless stuff. They had some guy I've never heard of hosting the thing. I don't, uh -huh. you know, I guess you had to be here to do your show. But, yeah, you know, yeah. No, I was going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And the people, some of the people nominated probably should have been nominated, but it was the completely wrong year and everything. I mean, Martin Landau should have been nominated in the 70s for Without Warning. You know, ah, without I, I, warning. What, what was that? Is that uh, from without warning? Oh yeah, yeah. Now what is that? That's a film that Ed Wood would have even been ashamed to make. Uh, oh really? Yeah, uh, sci-fi uh, mutation type of thing. You know, with Martin Landau, John Travolta, who was, played a great Satanist in The Devil's Reign back in the 70s. The Devil's Reign. The Devil's Reign. Yeah. Oh, that. Is that him? Is that Travolta? Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean these. You know, it, it, I, I guess Saturday Night Fever in his career, about. but yeah. Yeah. So. But it's, it's nice, so he should have won for Devil's Reign. So you oh, figured yeah. these actors all should have been already nominated. Yeah, this they shouldn't all... have been nominated this year at all, but, uh, you know, they should have been nominated. Did Travolta win life. tonight? Did he win? I can't tell you right now. I'm oh, not, okay. I'm not going to spoil this. We're taping this later <laughs> in the evening for an earlier broadcast. It's oh, okay. the first time that's ever been done. Oh, I didn't so, realize that. Okay. Uh, well, what about your picks? I well, want to get you know, your picks Well, you know, they've had now. the Oscars and everything, and I, what I've got is sort of like the Myers. You know, I've, oh, got, right. uh, I've got the, you know, people that really should have you know, won this thing. I've got, right. uh, you know, you can name almost any category. I've got a winner in it. Uh, Let me go uh, uh, Best Supporting Actor. Best Supporting Actor. Okay, well, this was kind of a shoe-in this year. It was, uh, even though it was almost disqualified because the director, Fred Owen Ray, did his voice in the picture, it was uh -huh. uh, Inner Sanctum 2, starring none other than, of course, Cato Kalin. Cato Kalin, ladies and gentlemen. Is that Cato? Yeah, wow. like, like I said, you know, you got to look closely, but he's there. Is, he's underneath oh, the yeah. mask, but he didn't get to use his voice, so they don't see who it is and not his voice. Right. Yeah, right. the director, Fred Owen Ray, did the voice. That almost disqualified it, but, you know, I don't... There's it's too many things strong. being disqualified. What about Best Supporting Actress? Okay, Best Supporting Actress this year, you know, she really fooled the world in Crying Game, so I'm giving it this year, hands down, to Jay Davidson for Stargate. Oh, man. Oh, no question about it. Now... You say fool the world and she, you know, Jay Davidson is actually, he's a guy. That was the whole twist of Crying Game. He's, he's... Well, you say it's a twist. You know, I've been watching the whole thing and I'm giving it to her this year for uh, Stargate. So that's all I can say. I told you, these were my version of the awards. I see. Uh... So she's actually a she, not a she, not a he. Yeah. Well, it gets a little confusing, but uh, that's what, you know, that's why I think. I mean, you know. All right. No, that's fair enough, Johnny Legend. I have no problem I don't want anybody to come out of this uh, tongue tie. Should we get, should we get to the big, uh, the big ones? Okay. Best yeah. I'll, I'll slip by some of these others. Best effects, obviously. This year, Carnosaur 2. Let's not forget Roger Corman's great thing. Well, oh, we're, right, right. We're Carnosaur all sitting around waiting for... We have a shot of that, I believe, from Carnosaur 2. Yeah, I don't want to forget our... There you know, we go. It's now, a big year for effects. Now, that's either uh, a very little dinosaur with a very little truck, or it's a gigantic dinosaur with a huge truck that's uh -huh. almost as big as the dinosaur. Knowing yeah. Carnosaur 2, which one would you go with on that one? Uh, somewhere down the middle. You know, knowing little Roger, truck, no, little knowing dinosaur. Roger Corman. Yeah. All right. 
It's nice. You don't even have to open the envelopes. No, I'm not opening them in here. I'm oh, but I like the fact you're shuffling. You're, I, I like think the fact that nice. I got envelopes. Who, who's yeah. best I'm waiting actor? for you to hit me with an award that uh, see if I've got it. Who is best actor this year? Best actor? Yeah. You really want to jump to that? I, okay, I best actor. To to We're going to jump right to that now. Uh, the world said to this man, it won't be long now, and he came back to prove everybody wrong, and I give him a lot of points for that. It's John Wayne Bobbitt, uncut. Wow, best there actor. you go. Excellent choice. Excellent choice. Yeah. And already, like next year, he's already up for Blade Runner 2 or, uh, or <laughs> possibly Shortcuts 2, one or the other, yes. whichever one gets made. So. I was thinking Dumb and Dumber, but uh, you never know. I gave that my best documentary this year. Dumb, Dumb and Dumber? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, the most gripping expose of the American uh, mental health crisis I've ever seen. Oh, it was wonderful. Like, but didn't even get nominated. There's a lot of controversy yeah, about that. Yeah, that didn't even get Dreams. There was a lot of controversy Whatever, yeah. with that. <laughs> Whatever. You don't yeah. even watch the We're other We're doing films. a big one yeah. next year about the New York Janders called Scoop Dreams, so I'm kind of holding out for that one. So anyway. Uh, keep holding your breath. Okay. Hey, uh, 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 what, did you see the Bobbitt film, the uh, the uncut? Oh, as often as possible, yeah. Is it, is it's, it worth? Is it two thumbs up? It's two thumbs somewhere, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, of course it's two thumbs up. I mean, come on. All right. In that All case, right. I guess that just little bit depends on how many thumbs you've got on a given evening, okay? All right, fair enough. That's good. Now, uh, obviously, best actor, we go right to uh, to best actress. Who do okay, you best for? actress this year. Another film that a lot of people don't even know was made. Girl came right back from a lot of you know a lot of problems. Uh, Tanya Harding for Breakaway. Okay? Oh my goodness. There you go. And, no. and according to the terms of her parole, she couldn't even handle any weapons when she made this picture. That put her at a big disadvantage, but she still came through with flying colors. She's got rave reviews all over her own ad mats and everything. We have, uh, actually, we have the advertisement, and it does have the reviews. Here's a rave review from Premiere Magazine, which is uh, the big uh, movie magazine. It says, uh, Tanya in a bikini. And I think you can't get a better review than that. No, no. Uh, and uh, here's another one. Uh, the action was really cool, and that was actually from Tanya herself. So yes, they, have it. they've got a review from Tanya, too, so... What did she do in that? Was she playing like a detective? Was she a... Uh... It's an adventure film where she's interspersed whenever they can find a place for her, you know, that type of thing, so... Any lead pipe action? I mean, they didn't let her star in the Tanya Harding story, a big TV movie, so... That's true. Uh, you know, it's a, she was a lead pipe cinch in this. How's that? I didn't forget your question. <laughs> oh, good one. Okay. Excellent work. Okay. Uh, do you want to get to the big category? Do you want to get to... Oh, you know what? Let's do director Yeah, we've got to go with the director because director. there's been a lot of talk about directors this year. Now, with all this talk of the Ed Wood movie, okay, lot, very few people know that Ed Wood's best friend is not only still alive, but he's directing, making films this year. Starring in films that are he's making on lower budgets than Ed Wood ever ever had in his life. Wow, what's his name? Conrad Brooks. And this uh, year he directed Conrad Brooks versus the Werewolf. Total masterpiece. I think we, we, uh, I, think we I believe we have a clip of this. This is your pick for best director. Best director. Conrad Brooks as best Conrad director. Brooks, yeah. Directing himself and directing Conrad himself. Brooks versus the world. Okay, let's take a look. Ted, I told you stay at the pier. What are you doing here? I came here to probably we're gonna get rid of the Werewolf with this bat. Wait a minute. I got a Uzi gun here. That'll take care of the werewolf. Yeah, but you don't have no silver bullets. Silver bullets in there. I thought of that just now. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Which uh which one of those guys was Conrad? The guy on the right, the man doing all the talking. Okay. And, that, he, that, yeah. and he was hired on this film as just a big name star, and then he had to take over the director's reins because he couldn't find anybody there who knew how to direct the thing, so he took over. Okay. Best picture. Best picture. Big category. Okay, yeah, a lot of possibilities this year, but uh, I just finally had to settle on the one that came to mind so obviously, Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD, the big trauma hit. All right, well, let's, take, let's take a clip of that, and you can describe the action to okay. us. There's uh, Sergeant Kabuki. What's yeah, going there's on? some action now. Okay, well, this is obviously Sergeant Kabuki, man. We're seeing a great tribute to the 60s here. Uh, this, is in a, this is a mixture of superhero, martial arts. Uh, you know, it goes a, a, several steps further than NYPD Blue or anything else. Uh, a lot further than, you know, anything else like it. I mean... So basically he just... Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's... Oh, excellent work. Yeah. Well, that's best yeah. picture. All there's right. No other... No other picture like it this year. It wasn't, a, it wasn't just a sequel or a retread type of thing. It was just good work. The real thing. Next year in Hollywood, Next year friend. in Hollywood. That's what I have to say. Uh, we got to take a commercial break, but we're coming back with Johnny Legend, so uh, stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> Johnny Legend here with the uh, brand new Oscar picks. We have uh, we, we went through all the big awards, we the best the picture, the best actor, the best actress. 
Uh, the Oscars always gives out like an Irving Thalberg. Yeah, there's got to be some kind of award. Lifetime. This year, I would like to start with the first Sammy Sampsonberg in Humanitarian Career Flameout Award. This is All for right. somebody who wants to go back to Warhol's old adage: "Everyone should be famous for 15 minutes," and say, "Why not 15 seconds?" All right. Okay. Now, Sammy Berg, just so you know, was a wrestler who starred in Three Stooges Meet Hercules. And a couple months after the film was made, uh -huh. he was destitute, roaming the streets, and got arrested for cutting the heads off of parking meters. So that's pretty quick. Well, yeah, so, that, that happens. Right. So for yeah. Sammy Berg, this year we're giving it to someone who's just about seemed to achieve the same thing: the film and the per person it's pat okay it's pat, it's pat of course oh a film that, sad a film that started on the midnight circuit and in some theaters it was the run was over by 1 a.m oh so God. all right so with johnny legend a pleasure once again right. as always all right uh, we'll be seeing you real soon okay. uh, he's going to be appearing on planet earth real soon uh oh that was in the thing i want to thank robert john leonard rachel griffiths and sammy they're going to play us out good night everybody so many